Hello and in today's STM32 programming with a blue poll we are going to be covering the hardware that we are going to be using. So over here I have a basic schematic of the STM32 blue poll. First off the STM32 is powered from a 3.3 volt source to all the VDD pins. Unfortunately the VDD analog is connected to the 3.3 volt on the board itself so can't do a custom analog voltage there but that's all right then our ground is connected to all the vss and the analog vss is also connected to ground our programming pins are the swd pins that's going to be pa13 and pa14 that is connected to a breakout header now the swdio is the data pin for the programmer and then the swclk is the clock pin for the programmer then our reset pin which is n reset is connected to a switch that is going to be grounded and then also pulled up with a 10k resistor to 3.3 volts our oscillator pins that are connected to pd0 and pd1 is connected to a 8 megahertz crystal over here and then the rtc oscillator pins are connected to a 32.7 kilohertz crystal for the internal rtc pa11 and pa12 is connected to d minus and d plus for the usb communication interface and the usb interface is connected via two 20 ohm resistors with a 4.7k pull up to 5 volts then we have the two boot pins which is connected to pin 44 which is boot 0 and then boot 1 is connected to pd2 okay so the function of the boot pins are to determine from which memory space the stm32 boots from now in the reference manual you can see boot 1 and 0 if boot 0 is 0 then we boot from the main flash memory if boot 0 is 1 and boot 1 is 0 then we boot from the system memory and if both are one then we boot from the SRAM. For this tutorial series we're going to have them permanently both in position 0 and 0 and on your blue pole itself to set these two boot pins you move them from the center connected pin you move them down to the position zero that is printed on the board unfortunately this photo doesn't show that but you can see the center pin is connected to boot zero and the other center pin is connected to boot one all you need to do is basically connect it to ground over here that will give you the zero zero configuration and that's the only caveat to the board itself and then you can see here the onboard LED is connected to PC13, which I'm going to label as LED0. The physical connections on the board, I'm going to have from PD3 to PD9, I'm going to have connected to LEDs. So seven LEDs there, and then PA5 is going to be our eighth LED. And then I'm going to have two switches connected to PB15, and PA8 is going to have another switch on it. From PA0 to 2, I'm going to use the analog to digital converter pin, so AC, ADC0 to ADC2 pins. Then PA13 I'm going to use as a PWM pin. PA4 to PA7 I'm going to use as SPI interface pins and PA9 and PA10 are going to be used as serial UART pins then the D plus and D minus for the USB interface and then PB10 and 11 is going to be used for an I2C interface. And that's the basic hardware setup for the STM32 programming. A like, share, comment and subscribe is always appreciated. Thank you. Have a nice day.